All right, welcome back to my Politburo, our Politburo, yeah, yes, we're all comrades, yes, but I'm in charge, straight up fucking hell. I, yeah, if you just got here, or dictators, yeah, how is a king not worse than a dictator? The most English man in the UK is laughing, yeah, brah, I'm gonna need your help with this, I've said it before, yeah, you know, whatever, as close as I can get to, yeah, have I ever, I'm not an apologist, have you ever heard me apologize? I've approached sympathy and, 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 you know what I'm saying, whatever. Yeah, I mean, f God damn it, I don't know how much... If all I wanted was for the whole world to... Yeah, I'm not an anarchist, motherfucker. If you're wondering why I put the anarchy symbol under communism... Yeah, it's complicated. Yeah, Soviet socialism, communism, my God. Yeah, the, the welcome to the lizard man orgy, I'm not even joking. Yeah, the, actu where the actual lizard man conspiracy and a hundred other weird conspiracies all come from this time period. Yeah, what happens next, guys? Uh, that's the thing. <laughs> Half the reason I've been such a hard ass getting you ready in my crazy boot camp here, we, we've reached a point where I, I I can only help you so much. Yeah, it's like at this point I I kind of need your you know other people's help to fill in some gaps. With all due respect, yeah, I, I'm not yeah I'm trying not to barge into my office on a fucking Spanish Inquisition. Yeah, you're wrong about everything. It's definitely all this. I god damn it, I've had some you know. Not bad encounters, but as examples, whatever. If you're if you, if you ran into me as kind of a dick in some period or another, I'll try to clarify as best as I can. Yeah, I ain't apologizing. I'm saying certain things irritate me in the sense where, yeah, obviously we're gonna get into America. Yeah, America's next, buddy. I, I'm just saying that's a, that's my best speculation. Who's the next evil? Yeah, it's already happening to America. This is the thing. Yeah, you can say, oh, it's all, if it's all America, then we should all be fight. yeah. Think about that. How far do you want to take that? Does that mean we should all join Russia's side right now? Well, no, because of the Ukraine. Yeah, if you care about the Ukraine, motherfucker, do you- I'm, God damn it, yeah. If I didn't care about the Ukraine, this would be complicated. And then one of them's gonna be like, wait, don't you not care- Bro, I hate everyone equally. Or whatever, yeah, no, I, I fuck around with you guys because you're like our douchebag cousins. If Ukrainians are the Spartans, they definitely are. Fucking this is Spartan Ukraine, bitch. Yeah, Slovensky, Slovakians are the douchebag Athenians. Yeah, the crazy mad scientist fucking nutcase division. Yeah, yeah, the nutcase division indeed. The fucking spies, the intelligence agents, the crazy games and theory fucking madman nutcase div Yeah, you got it. You guys bash their heads together and we will fucking Freudian psych office the shit out of this. Speaking of which, uh, welcome to my Freudian psych office, straight up office meme going on here. Whoa, uh, yeah, yeah, god damn it, you don't have to agree with me, this is how I approached this concept, this hypothesis, as we theorize about these things. Oh yeah, oh, where's the proof, motherfucker, 80 proof, 50 proof? Yes, uh, let's start, before we get into, you know, we'll map the communism and map, yeah, before you watch Russia grow bigger and bigger on a big map. Let's look at the timeline. Again, this is what I mean. Yeah, clearly there's more I can, you know, speculate on with you. Yeah, what I, you get it. We're, we're approaching straight up 9-11, like crazy Roswell alien lizard. I'm not even joking. We are approaching the realm of lizard man conspiracies. This is when almost anyone can run in and say, oh, what about this? Yeah, what about literally everything? The whole fucking world is involved in one way or another at this point. And I guess this is kind of my thing, like, okay, if you are one of those people, oh yeah, it's all an ins- 9-11's an inside job, it was- okay, if it's all America, straight up, I- I don't completely disagree, they were- yeah, they're sleazy, shysty, shady shit going on, try to meet me halfway, please, this is the thing. Yeah, god damn it. At what point did they- yeah- World War II, whose side are you on, America or the Nazis? That's what I mean. And if you're going to say, okay, America was fine up until the end of World War II, and then five years later in Korea is, okay. That's basically what you did to Russia to cause this right now. Yeah, Russia also helped you fight the Nazis in World War II. Oh, Stalingrad, yeah, Stalingrad indeed. God damn it. I, yeah, I'm sure that, yeah, it's tense when I talk to the Ukrainian Spartan motherfuckers about this. Yeah, I don't want them bashing my head together. But he, he gets it. Yeah, we'll turning back to you guys, it's like, it, 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 hopefully we can avoid having this happen again. Well, now we have to fight, help you fight those communists. And it's like, I know some of you are thinking, like, my God, 
yeah. If you're thinking, oh, Amer yeah, America, okay, just stop and think. You, you get it. You're in a, a d literally a dog chasing its tail. It's like, oh, it's America. No, it's the communists. No, it's the Nazis. No, it's America. At what point is everyone in the world evil except you? Yeah, at what point? Yeah, I've, I've, the, the joke that I've come around, I can bring all my bad jokes in now that are starting to make more sense. How far do you want to take this to where, yeah, everyone in the world is evil except you, but what about the King of England? Yeah, if you're going to sit there humming and hawing about the King of England, yeah, bro. In 19, the beginning of this timeline, World War One. I, I've talked about it, go back if you want to speculate, that's, you know, that's more hard speculation in the sense where it's already been through the ringer a hundred times. Yes, there are, there is more to speculate on, but there's no new, like, there, there isn't much in the way of new testimony or evidence. Yeah, everyone involved is already dead. The, the fucking goddamn, uh, cameras were like the size of refrigerators. Yeah, you gotta laugh it up. Mr. Burns and his big crank fucking operated everything. Yeah, yeah. You're not gonna find, like, a, a, a bunch of footage. Yeah, oh, we found hours of foot. No, you found Found, you're lucky to find a few photographs from that period. So World War II is where you start getting into, ooh, Nazi zombie experiments. Yeah, straight up. Look what I found, bro. A bunch of fucking V rockets. And yeah, what was, what, if you're looking at this going, what's, what's the Gulf? Fucking Mohinder's SS Waffen. Yeah, they helped you fight the communists, and now they're both your enemies. That's what I mean. Do you want to turn America into an enemy? Do you want to turn everyone in the world into an enemy? Because they're all evil, and you're perfect, and yeah, brah. I'm not saying you have to execute the King of England. I'm saying, can God, yeah, half the British are like, oh yeah, at what point, what's a polite time to kill the king? There's never a polite time to kill the king. I laugh it up, guys. I, God damn it, I hope you get it. Yo, oh, yeah, it sounds like I'm instigating conflict. God damn it. I, yeah, I'm not encouraging you to do that. I'm saying consider that other people might want to and that that might be part. Yeah, what about America? What, what about literally everything? I'm chasing my tail trying to keep up with you motherfuckers now. I guess that's bringing back to my point here, a good little segue. One of the few things I can help you with moving forward, someone's thinking, it. well, communism, yeah, bro. There's more to it than just Putin or style. Yeah, it's not just the dictator telling everyone what to do. I bet even some, you know, people closer to it, even some Ukrainians might be thinking, yeah, yeah. If you think that just killing the dictator will stop everything, yeah, no, the, the whole thing about this is, that I hope they realize, it's more than just telling people what to do. Yeah, he doesn't just tell people what to do. Otherwise, it wouldn't be this effective. Sure, Kim Jong-un can do that in his tiny country of Korea. Yeah, with a country as big as Russia or America or whatever. Yeah, no, they have to be smarter than that. They have to convince, you know, the majority of people that it's probably a better idea than whatever alien lizard conspiracy. Yeah, basically. Right. It's basically if you want to know your enemy. Yeah, if you want to stop communism. You kind of need to understand it beyond this evil brainwashing, hit fucking demonic, whatever. Yeah, yeah, negligence, lying to yourself, the realm of chaos, motherfucker. One way or another, yeah, you're approaching a state of chaos in the sense that, yeah, is everyone your enemy? Is everyone going to be at war with everyone? It, at what point is it going to be more than, well, it's America and Russia? Oh my god, right? Yeah, you can get caught up thinking, oh, it's all these guys, it's all those guys. Okay, if, if that's if that's your definitive statement, what do you plan to do about it? Oh yeah, no, don't no one can do anything about it. Yeah, cult of sex and money, motherfuckers. There's a term for that or whatever. I'm I'm not putting it like it's a natural thing. I'm not saying you're a bad person because of it, but that is very kind of contagious. And there's there is a specific kind of word for this where it's like. Um, god damn it, uh, oh my god, complacency, or, yeah, ooh, yeah, yeah, sheeple or what, I, yeah, it's approaching that territory, I, I don't want to just say, like, blanket statement like that, but that's kind of the chalk outline I'm trying to draw around it, like, if you're, you know, if your final answer after, this is the thing, the, the worst case scenario with these people, they'll shoot down any speculation you have, they'll be like, no, no, it's F definitely all this, no, it's not that, and then it's like, okay, okay, let's say you're right, of course you're right, yeah, do you have any ideas, like, what do you mean, yeah, literally, what do you mean, yeah, it's almost like you don't want this to be fixed, or you would have nothing to bitch about, or you wouldn't live in a dystopia, yeah, ooh, you have Freudian psych office, or what, I don't want to, yeah, turn it that hard on you, but I hope you can see how, from my perspective, 
Yeah, I'm not acting all superior, like, oh, at least I'm part of the solution. No, I'm part of the nutcase division in the basement. I'm just saying, like, whatever, I can appreciate, uh, you know, oh my god, how many dis- Yeah, it's the Rob Reiner disclaimer. I understand neutrality. I even understand being unsure and flip-flopping a little bit. Yeah, I didn't mean to be too condemning last time. Like, I'll fucking turn into Satan if you flip-flop on neutrality. I just mean- each time you do that, it becomes more complicated and difficult to, 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 yeah, it's like, well, now we have to account for this and this and this. Some of you are intellectual enough, even if you don't know much, yeah, whatever conspiracy you might have started with, thinking 9-11, whatever, hang on to that. I'm not telling you to throw that away. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying we got to get straight up, like, you know what I mean, like, welcome to the nutcase division, we all have to put our crazy lizard orgies on the table, apply rational speculation, yes, America is involved in that, so is Russia, so it was, so is China, whatever, all, yeah, these big countries with a lot of people in them doing a lot of crazy shit, I'm just saying, like, if you're gonna compare it to some small, yeah, smaller countries are better because they have less problems, because they have less people. I really hope you're not thinking we should break everyone up into smaller countries and smaller countries, and yeah, it's like, what if there was no countries? Yeah, what if there was no borders and no countries? One world order, the Illuminati, I, I know I sound crazy. Yeah, no, you get it. It's like, th this is the number of little notes I have for where we can branch off from here. I guess, okay, sorry, someone's act really trying to keep up. Someone who's like, you know, learning English, whatever, is thinking, God damn it, when's this guy going to get to the point? The point is, every the first half of my timeline here is fairly certain. I think most people in the world can agree on most key events leading up to, like, the Cold War in Korea. Yeah, they yeah, and now we're entering the realm of Colonel Hoppy's fucking lizard orgy. You get it. The second half of this timeline, pretty much anything anyone says, yeah, Rob Reiner threw a million floppy dildos at you. There's fucking Chinese guys crawling out of your fucking telephone. I'm not even... Some people... No, I'm not... Yeah, I, I'm not exaggerating. Some people were literally worried about things like this. We are in this realm. So yeah, basically, uh, we're gonna have to come back to this, but yeah, like, what, what, what should we be speculating on now is this gap between Korea and Vietnam. Specifically because they are, you know, well-known, it's another one of those things, it's one of the very few things that most people agree happened. Yeah, you know what World War II is, right? I don't have to explain what is World War II. You know, that's the War of the Nazis. A lot of you probably didn't know much about Korea. It was, whatever, you might have heard about it. Vietnam, you've heard about Vietnam. They made a hundred movies about it, straight up. Yeah, exactly. It's one of those things that it happened. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, why did it happen? Yeah, communism, right. It happened. Yeah, we can agree that it happened uh, approximately. Ooh, it actually started. Yeah. I've approximated the timeline here, basically the last century of global warfare. Yeah, World War I didn't start till 1914, but at the turn of the 1900s, the 20th century, the 19, no, the 20th century, because the first century starts with zero and goes to one. In the year 100, it's the beginning of the second century. So in the beginning of 1900 is the beginning of the 20th century, and the beginning of 2000 is the beginning of the 21st century. Motherfucker, yeah, if you can't d do four-digit math, uh, yeah, m even a monkey can remember ten numbers. We have scientists working on it. That is not a joke. We're going to get back to my Kremlin Politburo. Yeah, this is the thing. Okay, turn to the 1900s, back when England was the bad guy. Back in the day, everyone hated Britain. Laugh it up, Sherlock. The way you are, the way, if you're now thinking it's all America, yeah, back then, it was all Britain. Yeah, and you're, okay, so what do we do about it? Bra, I need this guy's help. Yeah, of all people here, the one guy I've bitched at the most, King Henry Douchebag Infinitus, the most English man in the UK, fucking, yeah, yeah, King Henry and King Richard, coat of arms, the one red rose, whatever, la I don't even know how much more, yeah, I can make fun of this guy all fucking day. In the end, you don't doubt we'd trust each other, we can communicate because we both speak the same language, mate, we both have the same Oxford Dictionary, we're both Latin douchebags, we both have, yeah, we're, in the end, it's like, yeah, I could go whip this guy to death in, in, in effigy or whatever, yeah, you guys can deal with the King of England as long as he doesn't fuck up my shit. You know what I mean. If he is content to just fucking be a fat-ass douchebag in England, that's fine. 
Right. Yeah. I mean, whatever. I can, yeah. A British man can decide what British people can do in Bristol, mate. Uh, yeah. Moving forward from that, I hope you get it. It's like, it, from my perspective, if you're one of those people now thinking it's all America, is it all America or all Americans? If you're an American, oh, whoa, is it all the Russians or is it all Russia? Yeah. If you're going to blame all Russians, if you're going to blame America, if you're an American, yeah, ooh, it's okay. Well, yeah, that's not my fault. Yeah, was it his fault? Was it my fault? Why am I even talking about it? Why bother? Yeah, yeah, no, it's inevitable. We're all fucked. Right. God damn it. Yeah, sorry I don't have more concise answers, but I'm, I think some of you get the idea where, okay, this vague gap between everything leading up to, like, World War II and Korea, that's all, again, most people have a firm understanding, yeah, you were going to fight the Nazis, blah, 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 blah. Sure, there's little things you can nitpick here and there, but it's, God damn it. We, we can go back to those records if we have to. Yes, we can certainly clear up one detail or another if you think something's missing. This gap between Korea and Vietnam, it's not long. It's, yeah, well, Korea ended in 1953, but I mean, the, the, the political turmoil and, well, oh, Chairman Mao's cleanse, yeah, the fucking Chinese grandmaster genocide of the Chinese. God, God damn it, it doesn't make it okay. I'm just saying, that is another... Did you talk to them about it? Yeah, have you ever talked to any of these people about it? Or are you sitting on the other side of the world saying, how could anyone do that, bro? You've done it too. Yeah, the fucking British man in Bristol is going to roll up and say, mate, we did it too, but for some reason the King of England decided not to teach you about it in school. I wonder why. If you live in a British colony in the Commonwealth, such as Canada, and the school in British Columbia with a British flag over your British school teaching you British English did not teach you about the war crimes of the British... Yeah, I'm sorry. Th to me, this is like, if that's too crazy for you, you're already in Colonel Hoppy's fucking lizard anal orgy conspiracy department. If you're Japanese or foreign, all that means it's a common stereotype example of crazy conspiracies. When someone's like, oh, what about the lizard people? Yeah, straight up, you've heard about that. Well, there had to have been a lizard orgy at some point, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, we'll get there. Don't start with lizard orgies and then just be like, whatever, oh yeah, no one really knows. Okay, that, yeah, thanks for the help, bud. Thanks for the fucking help. Someone's kept up, yeah. <clears throat> We're not starting inside of Dan Aykroyd's basement. We need to find Dan Aykroyd's basement and tack it on the corkboard along with everything else. There's there's other conspiracies. So, yeah, when, when, we, when we do come back, I'm going to keep showing you how I would have done this from a Politburo. Yeah, I'm going to pretend I'm Stalin, basically. Why? Because there are no other... Do you have definitive proof of what Stalin was thinking? No, yeah, yeah, Soviet Union was not known for sharing secrets. You can be trusting KGB. I doubt even some skeptical Slovakian douchebags are thinking, yeah, brah. God damn it, I'm not that... Yeah, as much as I don't care enough about you guys, I also... That means I don't care enough to hate you that much. Yeah, it means I don't... I'm not that spiteful either. I, I, I wouldn't go through all this trouble just to fuck around and cause more problems. I may cause some problems through ignorance, negligence, whatever, but... Yeah, you, you and me, whatever, one way or another, I, I'm one of the very few people in the world who is capable of sort of communicating with one side or the other. Doesn't mean I speak ever. It means, yeah, I, God damn it, I understand America and I understand Russia, USA, USSR. I hope you guys can see the irony. To everyone else, you're both big, scary, fucking, yeah, it's all the, yeah, yeah. The only person who understands America is Russia, and the only person who understands Russia is America. All the problems you have here, all the shit you bitch about here, all the shit you bitch about there, this joke about, me, oh yeah, well, we were not really the same. Broad, do you know why America, you know, prevailed so long in the face of all this, or why they didn't get defeated sooner? Because you're more socialist than the commun- You're more communist than the communists. What does that mean? Social security? Medicare? Fucking, you made sure you had enough food for your people and housing? Yeah, you're struggling with the shit now, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll laugh it up. The one thing they struggled with was these basic necessities that commun- Yeah, why would someone become communist? At least you get fed every day. What if you don't? I'm just saying- America did a better job with social security than the fucking socialists did. The fact that you were more communist is what, yeah, it's one of your, all the farmers, the hillbilly farmers in Nebraska, motherfucker. The coal miners, yeah, fucking get all, yeah, you got bust out the Confederate flag for this one, motherfucker. I'm just saying. Uh, 
Shaft might still knock you right the fuck out if you're... Uh, yeah, right? You gotta learn to get along with Shaft here. I, I'm j j Whatever, guys. There's a great little example coming back to this. You might think, you know, a, a little example of how knowing more about conflict can help you, uh, you know, resolve and avoid it instead of being ignorant about it. See, if you run into a, you know, wannabe KKK, a fake-ass poser Cartman neo-Nazi motherfucker, hey, right, I'm supposed to hate Jews and be racist, right? Yeah, brah. If I, if I speak in the Deutsch, in Österreich Deutsch, yeah, if I speak German and he doesn't, yeah, it doesn't mean I'm b better than him. It doesn't mean, yeah, he might still kill me. But if, if, as far as, you know, propagating propaganda, uh, yeah, right, his propaganda will fall flat on its face if he, if I speak better, if I, yeah, some German guy's laughing, bro, I'm, yeah, barely, uh, yeah, I could barely order a pizza in the Weimar, like, yeah, no, dude. I'm, I can pretend I speak German, and if it's convincing enough to one of these douchebags, yeah. If some douchebag KKK motherfucker comes at you, and you talk, start talking about the ghosts of the Confederacy, and uh, yeah, what, what the hell, yeah, you ain't talking, yeah, yeah. If you know they're the ghosts of the Confederacy, and they don't, unless you're in a serious hardcore thug situation, if it's just some guy being a douchebag, yeah, yeah, you'll find little things like that can instantly dissolve their entire fucking parade of shenanigans as opposed to, well, yeah, you know, telling them they're not allowed to say something, basically. Because, the, the, right, that is dildo flopping. That is like two guys sword fighting with floppy dildos. It will never end. So anyway, yeah, when we get back, uh, we'll, we'll get to your contingency room. Yeah, this little war game here, while I'm playing Stalin... Well, whose side are you on, America or right? Yeah, at this point, like once again, you kind of yeah have to be on America's side unless you're neutral, third party, whatever. Even the King of England, whatever. Yeah, you get it. Assuming you want to partake in this mind battle, whatever. Hey, it could help people come up with ideas and communicate and whatever, bro. Yeah, imagine you are America. So, yeah, my crazy evil Kremlin Politburo is fucking, yeah, driving dump trucks full of AKs from here to Thailand to Taiwan, straight up the Ho Chi Minh Trail in and out of Vietnam. French Polynesia, straight up French fucking Indo Indochina, whatever. Yeah, the, the French are ready to toss the Count of Flanders into the fucking nether realm. I'm just saying, things are going to get complicated. So, I've jo yeah, this is one of my favorite jokes. To I've finally been able to fucking pull this out of the crypt. Usually, I hate that when the hipster douchebag shows up flopping dildos about whatever lizard man orgy. No, brah. This is when the crazy nutcase division contingency room of madness in the FBI basement picks up the phone and calls the hipster douchebag and says, brah. We need to know everything you know about the aliens, straight up. All the secret, top secret knowledge you have about crazy aliens and Sasquatch fucking experiments. Yeah, whatever. Whatever the crazy hipster douchebag wants to ramble about government conspiracies, 9-11 was in fucking inside Uranus job, whatever. Get all, call all these people, get them in here, and yeah, bro, we need to know whatever you know about this. Yeah, when we get back... <laughs> This is when you can bust out your crazy conspiracy. Someone might be thinking, oh, we're not at 9-11 yet, brah. If you wait till 9-11 to start your 9-11 conspiracy, that's how I know it's, yeah, yeah, come on. When did it start? Yeah, yeah, did Am oh, America needs oil? Yeah, that's one, one part of it. Yeah, yeah, we've needed oil since the fucking the Nord, Nord Africa campaign, brah. Do you remember that in World War II, even in World, oh my god. Yeah, that's been going on for a while. If you, some of you might be getting, yeah, no wonder the Middle East became a shit show disaster. Yeah, we need you. We need you to help us fight Nazis and communists. And can you have your oil? And yeah, the British still own everything. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, Israel. Yeah, Israel. We'll get to it, Broad, Do you care about Israel? I, I care about some. Yeah, I care about some of them. I don't know all of them, but I care about some of them. Yeah, that's a whatever. That's as close as it gets. But yeah, some Ukrainian guys. Like, yeah, that's as close as it gets with this motherfucker. Yeah, we'll get there, bro.